thrift haul. Now, all these things I've thrifted over the past couple months. Message me if you see anything you want. It might be for sale. I might be keeping some of the things as well. Without further ado, I'm just going to jump right in and start with tops. So the first shirt I have is this cute little colorful floral tank top. I believe it's a swimsuit top, but when you wear it, you can't tell. So the next thing I found was this Harley Davidson tank top. Next we have this little white crop top. It has this beautiful floral embroidery just down the middle of it, and it buttons up, has a drawstring so you can tighten it. Then I have this Cobra top. It's got the logo right in the middle. We have this super cute top. It's also a Harley Davidson top. So down here at the corner, we have like a beautiful black embroidery and it says Harley Davidson motorcycles. And then the straps are also adjustable in the back. Okay, so the next top I found was a velvet leopard print tank top and I was so excited when I found this. You'll definitely be seeing this on my Instagram. So the next thing that I have is this Harley Davidson shirt. It's got the huge Harley Davidson logo in the middle. I have this cute solid purple tank top. I don't think this is a swimsuit top. I actually think it is like an old workout top. It is just a really fuzzy short sleeve sweater polo jean Ralph Lauren shirt and it has this little collar quarter length sleeves and it has the grommets down the v-neck Tommy Hilfiger t-shirt and I would keep this except I'm not a huge fan of pink this is one of my more vintage pieces it's very different it's a very weird material so I'm not sure what exactly if it's just like a fun shirt or if it was like a workout shirt I don't know then we have this a brand new Bahamas t-shirt and this is in the advertisement for Poshmark or Depop. I can't remember which one, but one of the places I sell my clothes, they used this exact shirt in the advertisement. So I thought it was super cool when I found this. I'll do these two shirts together. So I found these shirts together and they're not identical, but they're both very similar. Vintage Nike shirts and it has the cool Nike logo in the center. And then here's the next one. Of course, we gotta have a NASCAR tee. Even though I don't watch NASCAR and I don't know who this driver is, I just love this shirt. It is brand new and it has a very cool logo on the back. We have another NASCAR shirt and it has a cool logo in the center. It has some bleached spots at the very bottom, but I think I'm just gonna crop it and add elastic and then it'll just look brand new. Then next we have an Adidas top. I found a Polaroid shirt, which I was so excited to find this because I'm a photographer, so this one's staying with me in my closet. Then I have a few men's shirts. So then I have this Tommy Hilfiger shirt. And the coolest part of this is it has a Hilfiger on the back of the collar. So then I have another men's collared shirt. It's another Tommy Hilfiger. It has the cute little Tommy flag. And then lastly, I found another men's shirt. And it's champion with the gray champion C logo right here. And I think this one will be super cute as a crop top with some elastic. Then moving on to our long sleeve shirts. I have this cute vintage shirt. It has a very vintage tag. I really love the yellow detailing around the shirt. So then we have another Tommy shirt. This one just has a couple little snap buttons in the front. Little metal buttons say Tommy Hilfiger around them, which I think is pretty cool. When I first saw this, I thought it was a Harley Davidson shirt, but it's actually Iron Horses Saloon from Florida. So I've never been there, but I thought this was super cool. It has a very cool logo in the center with some flames on it. It is just a see-through shirt, and it's got little sparkly butterflies all over it, and it has this rectangle texture to it. This looks cute with a bralette underneath with half of it unbuttoned at the bottom and then tied in a knot. I found this Harley Davidson shirt. Now this one is so cool. It's got like the waffle texture to it. I'm not sure what exactly that's called. But it has a very cool logo on the front, but my favorite part of this shirt is the back. This one's another very interesting vintage piece, and it's kind of ugly on camera, but it looks really good on. It's got a very Gucci scarf pattern going on the sleeves. Then I found this shirt in the men's section, and it is just a pearl snap, and it has two eagles embroidered on the front of it. Another Tommy shirt. This one's very plain and comfortable, but it has the little Tommy flag right here. And moving on to turtlenecks. I don't think I've ever owned a turtleneck before, but recently I've really found some cool ones. The first one I have, this one is one of my favorites. And actually, I found this in the little girl section. So it is a little girl shirt, but on me, it looks like a cropped turtleneck. And the sleeves are a little short on my arms, but if I just pull them up, then it looks super cute. I'll never pass up on the little kid section because... That is where you can find some great things. And it has the Ralph Lauren logo right here on the neck. Next, I have this Harley Davidson turtleneck and it is like a burnt 
orange color with the cool Harley Davidson logo in the middle and this is one of my favorite things I found. Another Ralph Lauren turtleneck and this one is lime green. It has a little pink Ralph Lauren, the R and L. So the next thing I have is this cute little Tommy Hilfiger turtleneck. It's got the Tommy flag right here on the neck. I found this turtleneck. Now this one just kind of reminds me of like a grandpa sweater and I thought this one would be super cute cropped. Another Ralph Lauren turtleneck. Now this one isn't a sweater. This is just like a shirt material but it has a very very cool vintage Ralph Lauren logo right here on the front with a little crown. It's like an old Arizona one. I just love the colors on it. It's very vintage. And then we have this turtleneck. It has more of a shorter neck on it and this one is just gray and cream colored. Uh, it's maybe white. Whitish cream. I don't know. This one is a super soft material. And then you guys, I found two of these. They are these super fuzzy turtlenecks. This one is purple. It's like got light purple and then it gets darker. And this one is blue and they are different name brands but they're basically identical other than like the color. I just wore this one in an Instagram picture so if you want to go see how it's styled or how it looks on you can go there. So lastly for the turtlenecks we have this humongous chunky thick turtleneck. It's a John Malloy, which I'm not sure what that name brand is, but the tag looks pretty vintage. It says it's from Ireland. This is such a great quality sweater. I assume this was probably pretty expensive. And I have seen um, some very similar sweaters to this online from like Urban Outfitters or some little boutiques that have this pattern on it with the little balls. And they are pretty expensive and I found this like, at Goodwill. Moving on to sweaters and oh my goodness, I have found so many sweaters. So a lot of these are going to be up in my Poshmark because I do not need 50 sweaters, but they are all so cute and so unique. So I'm going to go through these pretty quickly. A blue and gray sweater. It's got some like white specks in the gray. Then we have this sweater with the blue and the purple. Then we have this gray one. This is a more of a Christmas sweater. I'm not sure what's on it. It kind of looks like acorns. So then I have this super cool olive green US polo sweater. It's my most Christmassy sweater that I found. I love this colorway with the purple and the turquoise. Then this one is one of my favorite finds. I actually wore this to Urban Outfitters a while back and everyone that worked at Urban Outfitters asked me where it was from which I thought was funny because I got it at the thrift store and they have some really cool sweaters similar that are like $60 and I got this for $1.99. I really love this one because it has some cool beaded detailing on the top which I think is very unique. I love this one with the texture on it. It's very plain, but also super interesting. This one is purple, but again, reminds me of a Christmas sweater. We have this fun sweater. I don't know what kind of pattern this is, but it is so unique. I've never seen anything like it. Again, with this colorway, the purple and the greens. Next, we have this blue sweater. I love the way this one fits with the V-neck on it. And it is just a darker blue with some turquoise. This is also a very Christmassy sweater. It is red with little hearts on it. It's in the middle. This red sweater, it's got some texture on the front and it's got the speckled colors like sewn into it which I have seen these all over in stores and they like distress the bottom of them. So I think that's what I'm going to do with this one. This one's more of the wool fabric so it's got a wool look to it but it's not itchy. I have this sweater. The bottom there's like a random patch of like, blue, pink, and turquoise which is interesting. The back just has stripes on it, but again with this purple and green colorway that I kept finding, I think this one's very unique. It's got a lot of texture going on with the sewing. A lot of this is like raised up. It has a lot of texture going on with some raised up sewing. The back is just a little bit different than the front. It's got some different patterns on it. This is a Tommy Hilfiger sweater. Tommy Hilfiger is embroidered in the middle of this. This was actually found in the little boy section, but it fits like a women's small. Then we have another... Tommy Hilfiger sweater. I found this in the men's section, so it's super oversized on me, but it would be perfect if you're my size. It's perfect as a dress if you just roll the sleeves or you could cut the sleeves and hem them to make it fit better, but you could wear this as a dress with like knee-high boots. It's got the little Tommy flag on the front and then I found this Tommy sweater. I think it's just super unique and I love the pattern on the bottom of it. I found this Christian Dior sweater. This is the softest sweater material I've ever felt in my life. It's got Dior embroidered right here on the front. So onto sweatshirts and hoodies. For the first hoodie, we have this bright lime green champion cropped hoodie, but it's got this embroidered champion and lime green right here on the front. 
So then we just have this vintage Nike swoosh hoodie. It is a little oversized on me, so I think I'm going to add elastic and make it super cute. Then we have another lime green hoodie, and this is just a plain lime green Adidas hoodie. It's got the Adidas logo right there in the middle. I found another Adidas hoodie in blue. This was in the men's section. This one's got the trifle logo in the middle. Then on to sweatshirts. So then I found this sweatshirt. It is a US polo. Next I have a plain gray Nike sweatshirt. It's just got the white swoop on the front. Then I have this baby pink champion sweatshirt. It has the champion logo right here. It's not the new C logo. It's the older made by champion logo, but this is so soft and comfortable. I think this one will definitely be up because I'm not a huge fan of pink. Then I found this plain red Tommy Hilfiger sweatshirt. It's got the Tommy logo right here. I have another Tommy Hilfiger sweatshirt. It has the Tommy Hilfiger right here on the front. Down here, it's got the Tommy Hilfiger Athletics original tag, which I think is super cool. The back has the Tommy flag on it. Then I have this vintage Nike jacket. I love the colors on this with the orange and the baby blue. And my favorite part of this is like the vintage little circle zipper. Next, I found this bad boy. Now, this is very oversized on me, but I could not pass it up. It is one of the coolest vintage jackets I've ever seen. I love the colorway on this, and I love the polka dots. The polka dots are such a fun touch. The back is just as fun as well. Look at the tag on this, you guys. That is a vintage tag right there. Next, we have another Nike windbreaker. This one is turquoise and a blue color. So then I have this Puma jacket. This is brand new, and it's just got a very cool pattern on it. I also have this very cool vintage jacket. I love how unique this one is because it buttons and it zips. So it's got like this button part that's purple and then the zip part that's pink. So you can wear it like completely buttoned up or you can just wear it with the zipper part and then it looks like this. The back is plain black. I also found this fun jacket. It's got some fun colors going on on the front. The back on this one is also plain black. It's like a raincoat material. It's a little bit different than like a windbreaker material, but it has this super cool pocket in the front and the pocket has a drawstring on it. You can just close this pocket and then you velcro the flap down. Then I have a few denim pieces. This is a Levi Stratus signature jacket. It is such a soft, comfortable denim. Then I found this denim jacket. This one is like a thicker denim material that would like actually keep you warm. It's got this very cool leather collar on it. It's got this cool leather patch on the back. Well, this one's like a little thicker, so it's not quite a coat, but it's a little more than a jacket. I have this super cute vintage coat. I love this one. It's cropped. I love the white stripes on the front. Then lastly, we have this coat, but I love the colors on this one. It's just like a big puffy ski coat. This is what the back looks like. So now onto jeans. I just have some Levi's, of course. So next we have these Lee jeans. They are just plain black and they fit very mom style. Then I have another pair of Levi's. These are just black. These are not jeans. They were capris. So these will definitely be cut into shorts eventually when I have time. We have some good old Lucky Brand jeans. And if you guys aren't familiar with these, these jeans are so comfy and fit super great. I, my favorite part about these are the pockets. They always have clovers on them. Lastly, we have some Calvin Klein jeans. My mom actually found these for me. And they are a little big on me, but I think I'm gonna try to keep them and make them work with a belt. But if not, then they will be for sale and they are in perfect condition. On to shorts, we have a pair of guest shorts. These are so cute. I wore these all the time, but these are unfortunately finally too small for me. So these are for sale. They have the little guest triangle on the back pocket. Then I have two pairs of Levi Stratus shorts. This one only has one button and a zipper and is one that has the multiple buttons, which I absolutely love. Then we have some Lucky Brand shorts. These will be up for sale because they are too big for me. Oh, these are orange. They have the cute little pockets. I found these cute vintage shorts. And they're Road Rags Original, which I have no idea what that name brand is. I tried to look it up and I didn't find anything about it, but I love the pockets. Then onto sweats. 
I found these splash pants, a pair of champion sweats. They have the champion C logo embroidered on the front. They have elastic and a working drawstring. They have elastic around the feet. The elastic is a tiny bit stretched out. So if you like the look of elastic, that's totally fixable. And or this gives more of just like a regular straight leg look. Then I have another pair of champion sweats. These are like the squishy material. They have the whole champion word embroidered right there on the front. These are super cool. I couldn't find them online anywhere when I tried to look them up. They are a Bud Light pair of velvet sweats with this white stripe down the side. Super soft and comfortable. They just look really good on. Honestly, I would keep these, but like I don't even drink, so I don't know if I want to wear them. But they are so comfortable. I also found a pair of Fila Sport velvet pants. They have a bell bottom. They've got this cute glittery waistband. So lastly, we have these cute Adidas sweats. They are just purple. Then moving on to skirts. I only have a few. I found this one the other day. I love the floral pattern on this. It's very retro. Then I found this skirt. I don't know what I'm going to do with it yet. I'm either going to try to make it a two-piece set or make it just a shorter like mini skirt. I found this skirt as well which I just picked up for the fabric because I just really like the colors and the patterns. It's kind of vintage. So lastly for the skirts I just picked up this leopard print long skirt and it is a little big for me and doesn't look super cute on but I want to try to make this into a cute two-piece set or a mini skirt or a dress. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with it yet but stay tuned for a thrift flip. Then for our dresses I found this cute pink, red, and black cherry dress. It is strapless, and it's pretty cute as is, but I think I'm also going to try to make this a two-piece set and make it into like a crop top and a mini skirt. And I found this sparkly dress. I don't like the neck on this, but I do love the fabric, so I also want to try to do something fun with this, and we'll, we'll see how that goes. For shoes, I don't have very many shoes for you guys, but the shoes I did find are super cool. So I have these vintage Maurice's sandals and they have a big chunky heel on them and I love the detailing of these sandals. These are very 90s. I love them. I know this isn't everybody's style. My sister thought they were so ugly and she made fun of me for wearing them but I love them. Then next we have some dad sneakers. These are just a plain pair of white Reeboks. Next is another pair of chunky white shoes and these are Nike. The last category we have a belt. I found this super cute pink grommet belt and I've been really keeping my eye out for the grommet belts in different colors and I also found one in zebra print. I also found this white grommet belt and this one is cloth. What I love about this one is not only can you wear it like a regular belt and tuck it in your belt loop but you can also leave the front part dangling down. Well guys, there you have it. There was my massive thrift haul. I know you all have been asking for this and waiting for it, so I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, please give it a big thumbs up and leave a comment down below what you want to see next. Don't forget to subscribe, follow me on Instagram, and have a great day. Is this cream or white?